I don't think so, Tim. Welcome to Tool Time. That's right, I'm your host, Tim, the Tool Man Taylor. Y'all know my assistant, Al Borland. What's the matter? What's the matter, Tim? No stupid middle name? Why no insult today, Tim? Is it my birthday? I don't think so, Al. <laughs> we don't always have to joke around. You know, it's not fool time. <laughs> Why don't you just come right out and say it? My mother's a fat cow and she shots in the husky section and how she always eats in the all-you-can-eat buffet and how she's always, I'm always going to be single and how I have no friends except for my flannel shirt and my beard cream. Goodness gracious, Al. You know, we don't always have to clown around on tool time. Oh? You know, Al, I can be a real jokester sometimes. I say a lot of things that sometimes I wish I could take back. Really, Tim? I think I could name a few. <laughs> well, this show isn't just about home improvement. It's also about man improvement. <laughs> In all sincerity, I think I need to take a authority over my words. And many times I don't do that. Last week, I spoke poorly about my, my family, my wife, my kids, and my household. I want to ask for forgiveness for my words and actions. I need to look in the mirror and become more Christ-like in character. This past week, I took a look at my own family and my home. And I've realized that the issue is not with the wife, the kids, or anyone else. But the issue lies with me. After godly wisdom from my godly neighbor, or shall I say my accountability partner, I started reading the Bible again. It was in the book of Joshua, and it says in chapter 24, verse 15, But as for me and my household, we shall serve the Lord. Ah! That's great, Tim. Have you rededicated yourself and your home to the Lord? Yes, Al, I have. You see, just like how our show, our viewers, how we physically keep up our home, make improvements and repairs, we must be consistently doing the same in our lives, spiritually. We must have a strong foundation, one that's sturdy and everlasting. A foundation of the Lord. You see, in Matthew 7, 25, it says, And the rain fell, and the floods came, and the winds blew, and beat on that house. But it did not fall, because it had been built on a foundation of rock. That rock, Al, is Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. <laughs> Well, folks, it looks like we have an audience member that would like to chime in a few words. Tim, I don't know if you were saying it is right. Can a man really change? Can you teach an old dog a new trick? Well, Scripture tells us about a changed heart in 2 Corinthians 5.17. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old has passed away. Behold, the new has come. Tim, right. Tim I must say, I've noticed a change in you. And it's, a, it's really inspired me. I just wanted to tell you that. Thank you. Tim, I'm going to try what you said, man. Because you know what? You always give manly advice. Arr! 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 <laughs> I'm proud of you, Tim. Thanks, Al. Now, I want to show our viewers the last stage of framing a wall so our viewers can have a solid home. 
we will be allowing Jesus to build our home. Because in Psalms 127 of the Bible, it tells us, Unless the Lord builds the house, those who build it labor in vain. Arr, arr, arr. Sounds good, Tim. Now, I took the initiative and beefed up our Benford 5300 air compressor. I rewired it so it puts out a staggering 250 horsepower. Arr, arr, arr. <laughs> um, Tim, those air compressors are only rated for so much power. <laughs> Don't be silly, Al. You can never have enough power. <laughs> Yeah. Now, fire up that compressor. Now, I don't think so, Tim. <laughs> don't be a baby, Al. Jeez, I'll do it myself. <laughs> See? Nothing to worry about. Perfectly safe. So slow. Oh, oh, fire up that. Ah! Oh, oh, it looks like we have to evacuate the building. Join us next time on Tool Time, and don't forget, unless the Lord builds a house, everyone else builds a house.